What's up YouTube? Welcome back. JDS Outdoors. John here. In today's video, we're going to be working with a little bit of copper and on the air compressor. We're going to be building an air dryer. And the reason I need an air dryer is because I made a purchase. Let me uh, show it to you. But before I show it to you, I'm going to show you what my current setup is. So... I have a Sanborn 60 gallon uh, air compressor and it goes to uh, a regulator, um, a moisture catch thing, and then it goes into my air system, which every end of the air system has a drop to collect moisture. And this system works fairly well. However, when I'm running air tools uh, for an extended period of time, I notice that I get a little bit of moisture at the tool. So I want to eliminate that. So I'm gonna build an air dryer out of copper on this wall right here. And now the idea is, is to have a run of copper come out of the air compressor right here, and it's gonna go up and then down and then over. And at the bottom of each drop is going to be uh, a filter on one, an air dryer with a, the diecessent beads, another filter, and another air dryer. So that's what my plan is. Now you can go out and buy a refrigerated one, spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars if you want, or I want something a little more budget friendly, should work just about as good as that. Because uh, copper is a very good uh, conductor, so it's going to cool the air fairly fast. Now let's go over to the purchase. I bought a plasma cutter. And for those of you that are following me pretty religiously, uh, I much appreciate it. You know that I am uh, adding some upgrades to the garage to aid in fabrication and making more awesome content in this uh, Hypertherm PowerMax 45 plasma cutter will help me make some cool stuff. So that's why we need an air dryer. If you're new to the channel, feel free to check out some more of my videos and uh, subscribe if you like what you see. I got a lot of cool stuff coming, especially once we get this Power Max set up. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and uh, cut up some copper here and get everything dry fitted and see what we're working with. So that is the next step. So there's the basic idea, rough cut laid out on what it's going to be. So the air is going to come in right here from the air compressor. And then it's going to go up and down to this first filter. And then go all the way up and back down to that filter. And so on and so forth. And there's going to be a filter in the last two spots as well. Then the air will come out right here, hopefully cool and dry. So that is the layout. Copper is very good at conducting heat and dispersing it. This is kind of like a radiator in your car, for lack of uh, better ways to explain how this is going to work. So now that we got this rough cut laid out, Really should put unions in here, but unions are $10 a piece, so that would add like another 150 bucks. And at that point, it's kind of uh, kind of cost prohibitive, and you're better off just getting a regular air dryer that you plug into the wall. So if I ever have to uh, take these apart, I'll just have to uh, cut it and sweat in a new piece. Not a big deal. So to aid in putting this together... We're going to go ahead and sweat these corners together 
add the fitting on the end that'll thread into the filter there and then we'll thread each one of these on individually on both sides and then once everything's hooked up we'll go down to that end over there and sweat it all together down there as well so there we have the layout let's go ahead and start sweating some copper All right, so now we got all of those ends sweated on, and we're gonna let them cool for a little bit here. Then we'll go ahead and thread on all of our filters, so that way we can sweat on the other ends. All right, now that uh, they've cooled off, let's go ahead and install the filters on the bottom, so that way we can sweat together the top. I'm gonna use uh, this uh, TFE paste. It's just like thread tape, but in paste form. I like it uh, quite a bit for doing air fittings. It works pretty well. All right, I had to uh, cut the film off because I had to take this over to the bench vise in order to get them tight enough because my hands aren't strong enough. I'm kind of a wuss. Anyways, so we have the bottom parts here all uh, all secured on, and we use the TFE paste to um, seal it. Now what we got to do is sweat the tops together. And all we're going to do by... That is, uh, we're going to have this one elbow over to that drop, and then uh, join that one, join that one, there, and then over to the next drop. So I'm going to go ahead and sweat those together and show you what it looks like when that part's finished. I don't think you need to watch sweating again. I did it down on the other side and don't worry I'll give uh, dimensions and parts and all that stuff that I used for this at the end of the video so if you want to make one yourself by all means you can so there we have it all right so we got those sides all sweated together I installed my hose barbs on both ends now it's time to throw it up on the wall hook it up and see if it leaks
All right, here we have it set up on the wall, hooked up. Now it's time to test it for leaks. So you can see the system is at zero PSI. Let's go ahead and slowly crack it. All right, it's reached pressure, and I don't hear any leaks. The uh, air compressor itself is at, what is that, 130? Just above 130. So let us sit there for a little bit and see what happens, see if anything leaks or drops down in pressure. I'll check back in about 20 minutes or so, which is right. So it's been about 30 minutes or so and it hasn't dropped in PSI at all, which means we don't have any leaks, so that is good. So once again to go over it, uh, air comes out of the air compressor and it goes up and down into a filter, up and down into an air dryer with diecescent beads, however the heck you say that, up and down to another filter, up and down to another set of, uh, or another air dryer, and then out to the regulator, another moisture trap and then off into the system. And when I hook up my um, plasma cutter, I'll have another air dryer at that location as well, just for more insurance. So, that is my uh, air cooling and drying system. I've seen uh, pretty good reviews and luck with stuff like this. So I figured I'd try it, because it cost me like, 80 bucks to build this as compared to the cheapest refrigerated dryers 400 plus 50 dollars in shipping and tax so it was like 480 dollars for the cheapest one from uh, the cheapest air dryer so what i ended up using is uh four 10 foot sticks half inch copper cut into four foot long sections and then the drop at the end there and there are two foot long sections and each of the little stubs are two inch long pieces i used a total of 20 elbows half inch elbows of course eight half inch copper to half inch pipe thread uh, adapters for each one of the filters the um, two filters and two dryers can be purchased on amazon or your local store for a fairly reasonable price and then two hose barbs, one on each end. So once I uh, put this through its paces, I'll be able to give a little better review on how it works, but from everything I've seen, it uh, works pretty good for your low volume uh, air use. I mean, I'm not gonna drain this tank that much, so I'm not too worried. If uh, you have any other ideas for drying air, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. And uh, if you found this helpful or you're going to follow along, also let me know. Feel free to subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff. If you're interested in seeing what we got going on in the garage here and you're new, 
feel free to uh, follow along with that as well because I am super excited to power up this hypertherm uh, plasma cutter. Now, I'm not affiliated with any of these companies. I purchased everything on my own because I'm not cool enough to have any sponsorships. But we got some serious metal fabrication about to begin with the new uh, welder and everything uh, that's going on. Just waiting on some more pieces. But, as always, thank you for watching JDS Outdoors. And you guys have a great weekend, weekday, whatever time it is that you're watching. Thanks again.